Alright, so let's take a look at this. His chest is looking a little flat. So let's kind of... Let's move this out a little bit. I'm just grabbing my move tool from the side view. And you want to kind of create this wedge. Sort of like that. And pull his armpits up just a little bit. And just sort of decrease the size a little. And then I'm going to softly just sort of smooth this out. Let me bring my intensity down just a little bit. Let's move this out a bit more. Alright, and then I'm going to carve that down the center because when we pulled it up, we sort of evened that out. I'm going to go a bit thinner here. Alright, and then I'm going to just really start to focus on that shape. So this comes out like this, and then this comes down here. So we get that nice shape kind of coming in and over. Alright, I'm going to fill in this area a little bit more. Mine's getting a little flat. And I'm going to pull over Uh, well, actually, that looks pretty good. Let me zoom out a little bit and see how that looks. Doesn't look bad. Okay, so let's add some planes to this face, to the body here. I'm going to grab my Damien standard. Let's let's uh, decrease the intensity here, and then under stroke, you can hit L for lazy mouse, or turn it on here and increase your radius. And then just I'm really just going to accentuate where that chest fits in. Same thing here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to accentuate the armpit area and your lats. So with my clay buildup, I'm just going to go in here and hold Alt. Let me increase my intensity a little bit just so I can really get in there. I'm going to hold Shift, smooth that out. And then with my Damien standard, I'm just going to go right into the armpit. And I'm going to push this in just a little bit here. Because your lats are back here, what we're going to be doing soon is we're going to be identifying that whole area and how they wrap around this way and how it accentuates from the front. So let me take a look at how that looks. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to turn back on my floor. And it looks like I moved it somehow. Or I might have moved my character. Let's take a look at that side view. So I'm going to hit W and Alt. Uh, hopefully you didn't mess up the positioning of your character. Alright, let's take a look from here. I'm going to hold Alt, just move them to the left. And again, I'm looking at my the right side to kind of line it up this side here. And what I'm looking for is um, is he lined up with is the muscles that we've laid out and again, our chest is a little bit bigger, and that's okay. 
but are we kind of getting to the same proportions? You can see that our his chest is a little bit lower. And again, I'm not I'm not really terribly concerned with that at this point. I just know because I can go back in with this and um, with my move tool. And as long as we have X on, we can, you know, our symmetry on, we can do that. Let's go ahead and make sure that all that moving didn't mess us up. There we go. Let's do transform. Let's start to do, make sure that we have L symmetry on. There we go. And we could always go down and just sort of move all this stuff around to match our character. You know, his armpit and so forth. All right, so let's take a look at doing his abdomen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start off by blocking out some of the bone structures. So let's grab clay buildup. I'm going to lower my intensity. And let's start working out that shape here for the rib cage. Comes down. And then. up like this. I'm just going to soften it up here just so that we have it marked. I'm going to define that chest a little bit more. And let's just move that up a little bit. And let's fill this out a little bit better. So I'm just going to run strokes down in the same direction that the rib cage would run. I'm going to smooth it. Okay, I'm going to grab my Damien standard brush and I'm just going to trace out the entire, just sort of accentuating where that rib cage is. You know what, I might go a little lower in my intensity of that. So this, and then we want it to come down at a little bit of a harder angle like this. Now we have to draw on the rib cage because what sits on top of the rib cage is our abdomen, our abs. So I'm just going to go ahead and do sort of a six pack here. So I'm going to grab my clay build up. The top two abs start on top of the rib cage here. The next two are just below it. And then we have one more set here. And then the divider between the belly button and we're going to have to pull our pelvis down a little bit. It's like this. Okay, let's uh, make these upper ones a little wider. Okay. And um, what I want to do is do a little bit of shaping here. This should be much more pronounced. So we have the rib cage that comes out a little bit higher than that. And then these guys sit back and underneath. You can almost think of them as coming, um, let me cut these back a little bit, as coming out and underneath this way. So let me kind of smooth all of this out so you can see that a little bit better. And I'll pull this down. And there. So you can kind of think if we grab our trim dynamic and just sort of drop a plane in here. that the plane of that rib cage sits there and our abs are sort of on top there.
Okay, what we'll do in the next video is we'll continue to move up uh, down the, uh, the sides of our torso and really just look at our love handles and then work on our lats.